Hello everyone and welcome to Dark Knight Chess. Today we're going to be looking at two different ways that we can crush the Karl Khan defense in just under 10 moves. To get us started we're going to play e4, black plays c6, we go d4 taking control of the center, black plays d5 challenging that control, and then we move knight to c3 activating our knight and protecting the e4 pawn. Black takes, we recapture with our knight. This is all mainline Karl Khan stuff that we're very likely to see. And here black plays knight to d7, activating its knight and shifting us from the main line of the Karl Khan to the Karpa variation. This is the third most common response played by black at this point in the game. Here we're going to swing our knight out to g5, looking to provoke a reaction from black. Here black's going to play h6, kicking our knight away. This is the second most common move here and even Stockfish has this as the best move black can play at depth 18. So we're going to swing our knight over to e6, attacking black's queen and forcing black to react. Now I'll give you just a moment if you'd like to pause the video and see what reaction we're looking for black to make here. Which reaction would give us a devastating checkmate? Okay, hopefully you saw it. And if you didn't, we're about to show you. And we're looking for f takes e6. Now, this may seem at first glance an obvious move, but it's in fact a huge blunder on black's part. Black really should have played queen to b6 or queen to a5 with check, as these would have protected the queen, and then our knight would have just been left hanging. But since they chose to take the knight, all we have to do is play queen to h5 with check. Now, the only possible move black has at this point in the game is to simply delay mate and play its only possible move, which is g6. And once that's played, all we do is simply take the pawn and deliver a devastating checkmate and win the game. Now, you may be wondering, that was pretty fast. We crushed the Karl Khan in only eight moves, but can we do it faster? Well, Yes, we can. Let's take a quick look at how we can crush the Karl Khan in only six moves. Here, once again, we play e4, black plays c6, d4, once again, taking control of the center, d5, challenging that control, knight to c3, meanwhile protecting our pawn on e4, takes, takes, and then, once again, black plays knight to d7, transposing us to that Karpov variation of the Krogon. Once again, the third most common response from black at this point in the game, so something we absolutely are going to see. And here, we're going to align our queen on the e-file by moving it to e2. Then black will move knight to f6. Now here, black is connecting its knights, which is normally a great idea, but in this instance, it's a terrible blunder. And crazy enough, this is actually the third most common response by black in this position. So we can see this is something that happens a lot more frequently than you think it would. And as such, what we're going to do is we're going to move our knight to d6. And here we deliver a beautiful smothered mate. There's nothing that black can do as this pawn can no longer take because of how we have it skewered with the queen on e2. Now, if you've liked these videos, I hope that you'll like and subscribe to the channel. I will include a link to the Lee Chess study so that you can review this at your own time and pleasure if you'd like to do a little more in-depth study. And as always, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day and play some exciting and dynamic chess. Have a great day.